Set up ExpressVPN OpenVPN on Linux via Ubuntu Network Manager. Use the following rough steps to manually set up ExpressVPN on Linux via Ubuntu Network Manager. The details of these steps will depend on your flavor of Linux. In general, you're setting up an OpenVPN connection using our configuration files. Contents, download the VPN configuration files. Install and set up the VPN with Network Manager. Connect to the VPN. 1. Download the VPN configuration files. Open the welcome email you received when you signed up for ExpressVPN. Click the link in the email. If you can't find the link, log into your account using the below URL at https colon slash slash www.expressvpn.com slash user slash sign underscore in. Once you've clicked the link in the welcome email or logged into the website, click on Set up ExpressVPN on the active subscriptions page. This will take you to the downloads page. Click on Manual Config on the left side of the screen and then select the Open VPN tab on the right. You will first see your username and password and then a list of OpenVPN configuration files. Find the location, S, you want to connect to, e.g., Los Angeles, New York, Hong Kong, then download and save the .open file, S, to your desktop. Note, please have your username and password ready, as you will be asked to enter them later in the setup process. Scroll down to 4. Optional and click on the download link for your VPN certificates and keys to download your SSL files. 2. Install and set up the VPN in Network Manager. Extract the downloaded zip file. Launch a terminal session, and then enter the following command, sudo apt get install y network manager open. Click on your network manager icon on your desktop bar notification area. This icon can be in the shape of two computer screens computer screen icon or arrows arrows icon or a wireless signal meter Wi-Fi icon if you use a Wi-Fi connection. Click on edit connections. On the network manager applet, click on the add button. Select import a saved VPN configuration, and then click on create. Browse for one of the star.open files that you've downloaded, on step 2, then click on open. After importing the config file, you will need to manually import the user certificate, client.crt, ca certificate, ca2.crt, and private key, client.key, by using the SSL files obtained above. Make sure authentication type is set to password with certificates, TLS, and input the username and password you obtained above. See example below, next, click on the advanced, button. Under the general tab, make sure two following boxes are checked, use custom gateway port, 1195. Use LZO data compression. Use custom tunnel maximum transmission unit, MTU 1500. Use custom UDP fragment size, 1300. Restrict tunnel TCP maximum segment size, MSS. Randomize remote hosts. Under the security tab, make set the cipher to AES 256 CBC and HMAC authentication to SHA 512. Go to the TLS authentication tab and enable slash check use additional TLS authentication. For the key file, browse for the ta.key file, included in the SSL files that you've downloaded under step 3, and for the key direction, set it to 1. Click OK to finish the setup. Reboot your computer. 3. Connect to the VPN. To connect to the VPN, just click on your network manager icon, then point to VPN connections and then click on the VPN connection that you have configured. The icon will blink for around 10 to 30 seconds. Once the VPN is connected, you will see a message stating the VPN connection has been successfully established. You will also see a lock on the top bar of the network manager icon. To check that you're connected OK, go to http colon slash slash www.whatismeip.com and check that you now have one of our IPS. Also, try going to facebook.com or other sites that are usually blocked for you and make sure they work now.